right, you guys, here we are approaching on Route 66. Is it called Pops? Pops 66, I think is what it's called. We'll get you an official name because my mind has drawn a blank. All right, so we're, it's just called Pops and it is this cute gas station and it's supposed to look kind of old timey, really cute. And we're gonna go in and go see like 9 million bottles of soda. We're excited. There's actually signs. So disgusting. And over there was the south of Warfare. Yeah. Okay. Gross. Pimple pop. Bloody nose. And that one's marshmallow. This is grass soda. Bacon soda with chocolate. Oh my gosh. Mustard flavored soda. Brainwash. I don't know what brainwash is. Pumpkin spice is, oh this is black licorice. Dragon stool is black licorice. I think I would pass. <gasps> Top colas. Again, I'm trying not to get the glare in here. Okay. Sam Quartz. Oh my heck. My husband's getting this. He lived in Australia for two years. Getting Boondaberg, the ginger beer, and the root beer for the kids to try. Non alcoholic. Yeah, non alcoholic. Oh my heck. And there's more and more. These are all imported sodas. They're like freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh, okay. I don't even know the flavor, but it's so funny. I have to get it. Alright. Focus. 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 There we go. Knock knock. Who's there? America. It's called Celia Later. The end. <laughs> I have to get it. They have some other joke ones up there. Nuclear orange bomb. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. Foreign flavors. Something punch. I kind of want to try that one too. Okay, kids are distracted by the candy. Put it up to your face. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so big. It's, oh my goodness. Her face is like over maybe four inches of that. Yeah. It's huge. All right, the four year old picked this one. That the kids are indecisive. All of us. We look like alcoholics, but it's soda. Soda holics. There we go. Oh, twenty three fifty four. Julia has the Julia has the wallet and she has the card. It really isn't. We're excited. This is my habit. I just want to show you around a little bit more. So, oops. There is a lot of candy. Try not to get people. There is snacks. All these cool sodas. There's like souvenir stuff. There's 
icy machines. I showed you those. And, yep. What do you think, Boo? Sorry, we're getting like thrown around. Here's the rest of the store. I don't want to awkward people out. Here's the diner area where you can eat. Ah, gosh, all this cool candy I've never seen before, too. And now we're leaving. Ah, there's so many cool ones. We are sitting down to do this soda challenge. I want to show you we've got California Raspberry Coca-Cola, Frosty Orange, we have Dr. Pepper made from Imperial Sugar, we have Orangina, yes I started drinking it, we've got Bundaberg Root Beer and Bundaberg Ginger Beer, both non-alcoholic. We have got the original Fudge Brownie Cookie Dough Bite Soda. We have got this it's really funny mine. seal you later, and we don't know what the flavor is. We have got Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory Cocoa Fizz, and last, a Pure Cane Sugar Excel Black Cherry. So we're all going to take turns here and kind of go about this soda challenge and tell you what we guys think of all of the flavor. First up is the Frosty Orange Soda. Go ahead, take a sip, and then tell us what you mm -hmm. think. You take a sip first. Judges. Yeah. Well, thumbs up. Then what do you think? What is it? Good. Is it just it's like Fanta? Good. Different than no. Fanta? It's it tastes different. It tastes the same though. It tastes different. Like it tastes more like orange juice. That's a little bit fizzy than Crush. Okay. Yeah. I that's like fair. It. All right. Let's go. You try again. It did. Cocoa Chocolate. fizz. Yep. Try it. Sorry, I didn't get your reaction. Good. That's okay. Good. Good. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Like a drink. It's really good. Good? Wait, wait. Let me see. It kind of I want to see it. It kind of smells like a Tootsie Roll. Here. Really cheap All right. Lips, I'm going to do an like up close of it. Okay, nobody Mommy, move. There we go. So go ahead and do. From an adult perspective. The aftertaste is better than the actual taste. Okay. okay. The orange adult perspective. Adult perspective. It does taste a little different than like Crush or Vanta. It has kind of like a creaminess, almost like a melted dreamsicle, but not like crazy vanilla-y. That's good. Okay, next one. Orangina. Orangina. There you go. Try oh, it. Wait, hold on. I didn't get to try first. You don't have to shake it, but you do have to like. And why do you have to do that? Because there is real orange in it. So it's like pulp. You have to get yeah. the pulp around it. If you draw, if you think that is not glass, it is glass. Good. It's weird. It's, it tastes it's way different. different from orange juice. It's like way different. Good. That tastes more like crush. Just like mm. this. Yummy. You like it? And I love Orangina and I always have. I will say, well, I drank some yesterday. It tastes ever so slightly different than the European version. This is bottled in Texas. So something about the recipe is slightly, slightly different. Um, it's And maybe that's just what it is. It's sweeter. I feel like there's more of the natural sweetness and not so much sugar in the original European version. Still good, um, but I would love the genuine European version. Do you want to try black cherry? Black cherry nut. Okay. Oh, I'm not and excited. This is Excel, and I have I'm never so seen this excited. brand. This is kind of the fun thing, so we got it. Pure cane sugar corn soda. Corn. Yep. My children don't know how to drink from a bottle. Okay. Oh, exactly. He wants to take a good drink. Wait, watch out, Abby Lynn. Watch out. Back, watch out. Go ahead. It's good. Wait, Abby Lynn, get back. It tastes like nothingness. Let me see the camera. Just my opinion, it tastes like nothingness. Oh, nice. This is totally good. Totally good. <laughs> it like nothingness. I have not had black cherry in forever, so I'm kind of excited. That's 
kind of leaning a little towards um, grenadine, but not too bad. So not quite a chili temple, not quite as sweet. That's really good though. I think if people would want to compare that one to the orange one that you drank at the very beginning. Well, they're two different flavors. Um, this doesn't have vanilla undertones. Oh, it's good. It's different than like a commercial black cherry, that's for sure, but it's good. I can't Be prepared it. for at the end, everybody's going to have to give a, give a, your top three. Okay. All right, next, ginger beer. Not yet, beer. not yet. Do you have to shake? Not yes, so ginger beer, you're, uh, ginger beer, you're going to have to shake it just a little bit. Yep, just like that, not I shake. I am too out of my mind. Okay. I'm excited. So, hold on, hold on. Just turn it. This is your ginger beer, Bundaberg ginger beer from Australia. Mm -hmm. My dad has tried this before. Yep. Mm, Here we good, go. Good stuff. Pull out the cup. Yep. What? <laughs> yeah, that one, that one, it's gonna play in your in your mouth a little bit. Oh, okay, go ahead. Hand me my, just hand nope. me my soda. No. Try the ginger beer no. first. Try, try it. it. Okay. Okay, good. let's. Let's make that No. No? You don't like that one? I think I like the real Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. Try it. You have to try it. No. No. Look at me, Abby. Do you like it? Thumbs down or up? Thumbs up? Are you trying to be nice to your dad? Face, though. No, she that. didn't. It was weird. You're gonna feel like you have action in your mouth, though. Yeah. Action. I've had it before. Yeah. It is not sweet, and that's something. It's not like ginger ale. It's more almost on the savory side, right? Is that yes. the safest? There is sugar in it, but it's not like the ginger. You can feel it. You can see it in there. So it's it's interesting. Does it? I, I think it also says that it has like a yeast. Yeah. There's. There's a yeast in it that Sugar, makes it move a little. Root, yeast. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing. This is the root beer. Mm, yeah. Pull it out. Ooh, oh yeah. Out. Wait, wait. I need to get a close up of this one. Same thing. Just root beer. Oh put the um is it gonna play with my mouth? Ooh. I've never had the root beer before, so you guys. Go ahead, Jack. Fine. You're first. Okay. Good luck, Jack. Jack attack, hey, you're up. Root beer. Bud. You're gonna like this. It's root beer. I'm yeah. excited. I love root beer to be honest. What does it taste like? Different from root beer? It's the medium, same. okay? Medium. Careful, both hands because the glasses are starting to condensate. What does condensate? Watch out, Get Evelyn. water on them. Watch out. Take a good drink. There you go. I like it. It's better than AW or, okay. or any kind of root beer I ever had. Okay, that's so. enough. Oh, good. Is that good? This has so much in it. Molasses, ginger root, sarsaparilla root, licorice, vanilla. Sarsaparilla? Bean. There's an extra R in there. Sarsaparilla. I don't okay, know. Okay, let's, let's do this. Oh. Oh. I, <laughs> I think they tricked me. <laughs> that licorice hits hard in the beginning. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. And then you get like a little ginger. And then the aftertaste <laughs> is like they're just a root beer taste. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's part of the reason why I got that one. There's no refill. No, no refill. This is a classic Dr. Pepper. These are all twist caps. I just am a wuss. All right. Dr. Pepper made with Imperial Cane Sugar. Go ahead, bud. Go ahead, Jackson. Try Dr. Pepper for Cane Sugar. If my heart turns brown or black, you guys are so dead. Well, our kids don't drink caffeinated beverages, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't shake it, don't, don't shake it. it. Okay, it's good, it's good. I'm, I'm scared. I didn't really taste the flavor because I didn't really get a lot like normal Dr. Pepper. Okay. Tastes normal? Yeah, we only drink it like once and Yummy. Like Yummy. Once All right. Every five months. You can tell it's made with sugar and not corn syrup. The difference. So, I don't know. I have that root beer flavor in my mouth too. Yeah. What do you think, Dad? 
Oh, it's much smoother. Yeah. You three more left. California raspberry. That's Coca good. That's smooth. I like that. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Coca California, California raspberry. raspberry. That's I just saw they're doing like, there's a Georgia peach one too. All right, Jackson. Try it out. have kind of a raspberry and cola flavor to it. Good luck. We don't drink caffeine, so this is kind of a first. Kind of, not really. It's good but bad. So good but bad? Why is it like good but bad? Wait, 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 Julia, hold on. I want to hear this from Jackson. Why is it good but bad? The but... downside is that it tastes weird, but the good side is that I get caffeine. Oh. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Jules. Okay. Yeah, Jules. I'm scared. Stop being scared of all that. No, caffeine. It just fizzed on me. <laughs> oh, this tastes really good. It tastes like a raspberry drink. Wait, is it good or bad? It's good. It's so good. You think everything's good, boo. So never have I ever. I'm not a Coke drinker. I'm not really hardly even a Diet Coke drinker. I've never tried any of like the lime, orange, or anything. Go ahead. Alright, here we go trying a flavored Coke for the Never first have time. you ever. Never have I ever. Smell smells good. What's it, Coke? Like flavored raspberry scented candles. It, I can see it. I can see it. It tastes good. Hmm? You taste the Coke and you taste the raspberry. But like combined, it almost tastes like something different altogether. Almost like it's leaning towards a Dr. Pepper flavor than a Coke flavor. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. So like a vanilla Coke? Yeah, but it's not too, it's not, that's not vanilla eat. Yeah. It's not like raspberry, ras like super strong raspberry. You're a Coke purist though, so I'm sure that that's not. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, hold on, Bubba. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. There's one more, bud. There's, There's two more. Two more. Oh, I'm excited. Here we go. Fudge brownie cookie dough bites soda. I'm hard open. All right, go ahead, Bubba. Good luck, Jackson. This is obviously mine. Obviously. Yeah. Can you pay your own drink? Ah! All right, go ahead. He spit it out. I know, this is good. That's good. Take a take a good like drink. drink. It tastes like the chocolate one. Yeah, just a hint of a different flavor. You look at that, you look it. at that face. You don't like it. You can't lie about liking Just it. Just say, I don't like it. You're not hurting anybody's feelings. I like it, I like it. You're hurting my feelings! So it does smell different than the chocolate soda. And it um, reminds me of like those scratch and sniffs. That's the first like, ooh, like a chocolate scratch and sniff. Yum, I never tried scratch and sniff. You can see that there is a soda. It tastes like... Yeah, kind of almost like a little bit of perfumey chocolate. I'm not gonna drink any more of it. Um, but it's you. But it does taste like brownie cookie dough bites. It has a little more maybe citric acid kind of raising that smoothness. Like it's not as smooth as the chocolate. Um, it's a little more tart, I guess. How do you do this? Like I'll show you in a minute. All right, here we go. Okay. The this is your favorite. Go ahead, hey, come here, come soda. here. Come here, show, tell us about it. Okay, so first of all, how could I not buy a novelty soda at that place? And second, the ingredients list nothing. It just says water, cane, sugar, citric acid, caffeine, and natural coloring. So I'm assuming it's some kind of a cola. There was no labels around it. Like, I don't even know. So this is a mystery. I'm guessing cola. Hold on. What does it say? Not who's there. I'm America. See you later. <laughs> the end. <laughs> okay, here we go. Love it. How do you have a drink? Do you want to start first, Abilene? Yeah. No. Okay, oh. Yeah. oh, changing it around. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. This is like a little bit fizzy. 
a little bit busy. Okay, okay. thank right. you. I'm scared of those. You're scared of all of them for some reason. Because I am. Just drink it. Just nope. Sit back. Go ahead, Jack. Let's see it. No. Drama queen. Drama. Drama, drama, drama. Oh! <laughs> it is on me. Because you keep shaking it. Here, hand it to me. Go slower when You've you You've got to learn how to drink a soda. Here we go. Go ahead, drink it like your daughter. No. It tastes like Coke, but there's some other flavor in there. I don't know. You try. I'm not so sure about it. It's not like a novelty flavor, like like bubble gum and Coke put together. It's Ew. something, Why but it's not. It's, it's not, not that bad, actually. It's not a novelty flavor. I think it's supposed to be like a cola. Um, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm not gonna drink it. All right, everybody, sit down and favorites. Top three. Top three. Is, I'm gonna have to say, I'm sorry, but it was the black cherry. Hey, black cherry. Second favorite was the Celia later. Okay. Fish. Last one was Chaco Fizz soda. All right, there's your Chaco Coco, Fizz. Coco Fizz. Have at it. All right. Let's okay, see. this is what I like the most, and this. Do so you like Orangina and black cherry and this one the most, or do no. you like orange? Oh. So orange, cherry, and orangina were your favorites. Okay, what were your favorite three? The, this one, mm -hmm. and this one, and this one, and this one. Wait, All right. wait, I don't know which one she pointed to in the very back. See you later. The cold one. Right, it's okay. And now you are very important mother. Go ahead and tell them top three. All right. I feel like I shouldn't count Orangina because it's not even a contest. Like I'm not even gonna count Orangina because it's in its own category, in my opinion, and I love it already. So of all the new sodas I tried, I'm gonna say new sodas. I will say Black Cherry, I think the California Raspberry, mm. and the Dr. Pepper. Whoa! Close, a close third would be the orange. I didn't enjoy the novelty of the chocolate or the cookie dough. These, I just forget how strong they are, and I think you have to be a really big lover of these two things to just keep drinking them. Um, and I really want this one. <laughs> All right, Dad, what was your favorite from what you tried? Uh, well, I didn't try a lot, so Dr. Pepper, Bundaberg. Bundaberg? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, Alan from Pops. In Oklahoma, Route 66, and we had a great trip. This is not sponsored. We just want to go out and do something fun. Oh, no! Say thanks for watching. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. This was so amazing. Bye. Bye.